When it comes to IELTS Task 1 writing, a mistake that many people make is that they focus too much on bar charts and line graphs and they completely forget about other forms of Task 1 such as diagrams and maps. And on the day of their exam, guess what type of Task 1 they get? Yeah, a diagram or map. You should be practicing equally on all types and because of that, in today's video, I decided to show you 10 adjectives that you can use to describe changes in maps in IELTS Task 1 writing. Also, I will teach you how to use these adjectives in some sample sentences. So, let's dive in. The first adjective is expansive, which means covering a wide area in terms of space and scope. The industrial complex was expansive, stretching across several hectares of land. Use this adjective to describe areas that cover a wide extent on the map such as expansive parks or expansive agricultural lands. You might be familiar with the verb format, expand, and the adverb is expansively. Then we got uniform, remaining the same in all cases and at all times, consistent. The residential development followed a uniform pattern with similar housing types and layouts throughout. You can use this adjective when there is a consistent or repeating pattern in a map. Then there is the adjective dense, closely compacted in substance, crowded or congested. The city center was densely populated with high rise buildings and limited open spaces. You can use this adjective to describe areas with high concentration of features, such as dense urban areas or dense vegetation cover. Down to the next adjective, sparse thinly dispersed or scattered. The rural areas were sparsely populated with large distances between settlements. So whenever you see things that are spread around the map, like trees, buildings, facilities, you can use sparse. Moving on to the next adjective, compact, closely and neatly packed together, dense. The downtown area was compact with buildings closely situated to each other. Another useful adjective whenever you want to talk about the density feature of a map. And there is concentrated, gathered closely together in a cluster or mass. Economic activity was concentrated in the city center, with most businesses located within a small radius. Use this adjective to describe areas where features are closely grouped together, such as concentrated industrial zones or concentrated commercial districts. Up next, there is prominent, standing out or projecting, conspicuous. The river running through the city was a prominent feature on the map, shaping the layout of surrounding areas. This word describes features that are noticeable or stand out on the map, such as prominent landmarks or prominent geographical features. Number eight in the list, palpable easily perceived or noticed, tangible. The growth of the urban sprawl was palpable, with residential areas expanding into previously undeveloped land. Kind of similar to the last adjective that we learned, use this adjective to describe changes or features that are easily perceivable or tangible on the map. And we got subtle, which means not immediately obvious or noticeable, understated. There were subtle changes in land use patterns, with minor shifts in agricultural areas over time. This adjective describes features that are not immediately obvious. And finally, last in the list, uneven. Not regular, steady or balanced, unequal. The distribution of resources across the region was uneven, with some areas having abundant facilities. Opposite to even, Use this adjective to describe distributions or patterns that are irregular or unequal across the map, like uneven distribution of resources. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to subscribe and like the video and watch my other videos on IELTS writing. See ya.